Hi, and welcome to the very brief module eight of lecture nine, covering the, the logistic distribution. Now the logistic distribution has a lot of similarities to the normal. It has a mean and understand deviation. It's symmetric around zero. Um, so it has a skewness of, sorry, symmetric around its mean, so it has a skewness of zero. Um, and it looks a lot like normal, except it has what's called fatter tails. So here's a picture of the logistic right here. And the darker line over there is a normal distribution, standard normal. And the dotted line is a logistic distribution. It looks much like the normal, except there's fatter tails. And if you recall, when we talked about moments of distributions, the mean just kurtosis is non-zero. Um, so we use it primarily to, to um, look at binary choice. To, to model binary choice. Now in these cases, you can also use normal distribution often, the normal CDF, um, to model binary choice. So one question is why the logistic? It's not obvious from running out the PDF, which looks like this, if I can actually remember all the details correctly, because <laughs> it's not that pretty. Um, the PDF looks like this. So let's see, there's a pi, and there's an e to the negative pi, minus mu over sigma the square root of 3 times sigma the square root of 3 times 1 plus e to the negative pi, this would be our parentheses, um, x minus mu over sigma the square root of 3, all quantity squared. That is unattractive. <laughs> However, the real beauty of this thing comes in the CDF. Unlike the normal CDF, which cannot be written down like this. We can write the CDF, and in fact, you already have the techniques to do this yourself. The CDF is the integral of the PDF. If you make u, um, basically, if you decide u is this whole thing in here, one plus e to the blah, um, then the derivative of that is the top, is the numerator of that function. Everything cancels, you get the integral of one over u squared. That's negative 1 over u, and that gives you the um, CDF, which is just 1 over 1 plus e to the negative pi times x minus mu over sigma the square root of 3. And this is gloriously simple. Not only is it actually computable, it's even simpler than the PDF is. So the logistic distribution comes up a lot. Um, possibly too much because it is so nicely tractable that even though it actually has explicit differences in behavior from the from the normal distribution and that there's much more chance of having a more extreme value drawn from the distribution than the normal distribution it's still used quite often because it is so nicely analytically tractable as and it's, you can deal with it nicely when actually dealing with um, um, the statistics as well so there you go. That's the logistic distribution. You've seen it. Um, see what it looks like. It comes up a lot in stats, and you'll see a lot more about this in stats classes when dealing with binary choice. To, in the last module, we'll do a sort of a grab bag of a whole different, whole bunch of different distributions that you'll see much less often as distributions, and much more likely just we'll talk about them. Thank you very much.